the goddess of the moon tarot i'm deb here with your intuitive general messages reading with the cards okay we are going to use dice as well so if you guys would like to stay tuned go ahead and like comment subscribe share also hit the post notification bell appreciate the energy exchange also in the description box there's information regarding how to contact me and also there is timestamps as well. You're welcome to check out that information down there. So let's go ahead and get started. Jupiter was a sky god who harnessed thunder and lightning. Also he is related to luck, benefits, and opportunity. So, you know, this can be considered um, I'm, I'm losing focus here. Okay. So I feel like there's some type of a luck or opportunity that's coming in. You guys should check and see where Jupiter is in, in your chart. And then you can figure out around what time you'll be getting this or when it's going to be happening. Okay. So we have Cancer. And Cancer is known for persistency, intuition, imagination, loyalty, caution emotions sympathy and persuasiveness so i feel like you're feeling these emotions because especially right now what's going on with the planets i feel like you're really just feeling a lot of emotions and no matter if you had cancer in your chart or not it, it's like something is bringing about luck for you so it means that you're manifesting and clearing out things that may be possibly held on to as, as a child because this also is the house of like family foundation and stuff like that I mean when you think about cancers that's basically what they they embody right so I feel like that's what's going on right now something to do with your family and the fortune or the um, inheritance good luck whatever you guys want to call it but let's keep going we have number 10 which is the 10th house this house involves your career your social status recognition ach achievements motivation your ambition and your public appearance so this has something to do with to me it would be your branding okay if you guys think of it, think of it if you consider yourself a, a walking brand or a walking um, you know uh, industry whatever you guys want to see it but I feel like somebody is like either they're rebranding themselves or they're coming out with a different form of the way they're doing things and it's working for you so keep going let's get some cards y'all what's the news yeah I might be talking to a Scorpio or you might have it in your chart um I feel like the energy that you're um, in is, is very transformative look at that judgment right there yeah there's a lot of things that are transforming in your life right now and it's because there's been a final call you know it was, it was time for things to be seen for what they are it was time for the record to be set straight basically no more double-mindedness yeah okay let's keep going so you've been waiting for something uh or yeah you've been waiting for something you've been kind of feeling bored of the options that you've been presented and you're ready to go towards maybe somebody that's more exciting or somebody that kind of has a ambition the same as yours yeah seven of discs you want to invest in this person or they want to invest in you wow maybe somebody's coming from a place where they doesn't have much or that they've been through the struggle okay but let's see yeah the ten of wands somebody is carrying their family on their back basically is the energy that i'm getting so that means that you're the the family superstar you're the one that everybody you know depends on and relies on or always puts too much on you too also could be like they put standards on you that they don't have for themselves the ten of wands can mean that y'all but let's get some veil
somebody's been doing a lot of daydreaming okay somebody has been doing a lot of actual dreaming as well I don't know if this person is writing stuff down but the star card is here so somebody's going through some healing and transformation Aquarius energy but I feel like this purpose this person is on their purpose is the energy that I'm getting yeah they might even be working with the community so this person might be no well known in the community a public figure This is a loving person, whoever I'm talking about. Cancer energy again, the queen of cups, the king of cups, or king of um, unks, same thing. Uh, so this is a lot of matching energy that's coming out, y'all. In different cards, too, though. So it could be like multiple partners that it could be potential uh, matches. Yeah, be careful. The seven of swords, as I'm saying that. It, wow. Okay, so... With this five of dis energy, you know, this is like, to me, is like having a poverty mindset or like a curse mentality, right? Because that's why it manifests to the, the point where a person don't get no money. They try everything to get it instead of the right things, right? So that's like a curse mentality to me. But with the seven of swords energy, I hope that people are learning that that's why this is happening to you. If you're the person that's in this five of dis energy, it's because you take backhanded actions against others so the universe the only way that it can be balanced out is for you to not have with this five of dis right here but let's see let's get some more cards yeah yeah manipulating trying to use other people's energies trying to take from another stealing robbing energies stealing ideas Stealing identities, those things don't work. <laughs> not being confident in yourself, not knowing your path, not knowing which direction to do, overdoing it, not knowing how to stop, not knowing when to stop. Just continually keep on doing more and more damage to yourself because whoever you're going against, it's not working. So it's like you might as well stop. <laughs> not showing love to yourself, not wanting to be in this place that you're supposed to be on your own not opening your eyes you know what i'm saying it's, it's time for somebody to open their eyes to see the truth about some things and not be blinded this to things maybe even when it came to like somebody played with love magic or something like that love spells yeah that's not giving you a good ending you see that capricorn energy right there with the devil yeah devil work this is dark, okay? This is this is heck of dark stuff. Somebody is trying to cause a lot of dark energy to come around somebody in a relationship. That's not good. They're trying to affect somebody's finances. So this, it, they feel like if they affect their relationship, they're going to mess up their finances or what is to be given to them. Yeah, starting something. Mm -mm. They've been working behind the scenes with other people, trying to collaborate against this Queen of Dis or this Queen of Scarabs. Yeah, because this person is happy. Wow. Tahuti was right there underneath that, y'all. So that tells me that the Divine already sees it. It's been recorded and it's in the Kashik. Now, what's this Ten of Wands? Exactly. The Emperor. <laughs> okay. So Aries, you sticking out. What's this? Um, somebody's hasty decision, some emperor's hasty decision, or it could have just been a somebody who was a boss or something like that. Whatever they thought was cool to do against another just because they thought they was a they thought they was ahead or above someone for some reason caused this person to be in this five of this. Listen. This is the same card. So this verifies what I just said. This person figuring that out now, the scribe of swords. I hope they taking notes. Yeah, this person going within now. I feel like they, they figuring they figuring that, you know what I'm saying? Being in this energy of lack is causing there there's a reason for that. 
they had to figure it out yeah <laughs> they know it's because of the magic that they did this manipulation and stuff the magician just showed up and now the magic card is confirming it time to walk away from that time to be done with that the eight of unks seriously what's the queen of cups It's a whole bunch of storylines in here, y'all. What's the, so we got the two of um, so this is about a love right here. So I don't know if this is all the same or what. Y'all need to take what you need to take. Leave your like, leave your this me, you know what I'm saying, and keep it moving. Because I get a lot of stuff coming out, y'all. So somebody's relationship or what somebody was trying to, to destroy is not going to work. Because whoever they're trying to destroy this relationship between this Queen of Cups and this King of Cups, the people that send the Two of Unks energy, is destined to happen. You cannot stop destiny. You cannot stop fate. <laughs> this person needs to be careful because they're not protected. So, and, the, and they don't have boundaries. So, that means that they have all types of people and entities and everything around them. Look, this King of Unks energy. This was maybe the Queen of Unks person at one time, but I'm feeling like since this came out in reverse, this is the other person. Like I said, it's a group of people that I'm talking to. Like it's multiple matches that can be made on both sides, on the mask, the male and the female side. However, y'all want to see it. Okay, could be male, male, female, female, what, whatever. But look, with the Seven of Scarabs energy being in reverse. Somebody feel like they lost out a whole bunch of money or time or energy dealing with this situation, but it was a reflection of themselves. I told y'all, if you look, that's a mirror, but it was the masculine energy being reflected back up their inner fem feminine energy and the feminine energy being reflected back their masculine energy. Okay. In life, in real life, like the person. So they had to figure that out because look, the queen of wands is in reverse here. Like I said, see, that's a mirror. Somebody was being reflect reflected on. And it's the Queen of Cups. What do you expect? The Four of Unks. So I feel like somebody doesn't want to feel rejected. They don't want to feel like somebody is not going to accept a reconciliation. They want to build something with this person, but this person has new love now that's going into this so it's like their contract must have been revoked or something like that because whatever this person did the ten of wands is like they could not take it no more this queen of cups couldn't take it no more so they had to move on what's this ten of this aries keep popping up i told y'all it was an emperor energy here i felt it okay so Whoever this emperor is, I feel like he gonna keep on fighting. Yeah, he gonna keep on fighting because he know he need to get out of this. Yeah. But what's going on with this magic underneath here? Hmm. Oh, so somebody found out something from someone? Or somebody started something? This person, this, this high priestess energy. So that means that somebody tried to go to either a spiritualist or they went to someone who, like, is supposed to be, and when I say supposed to be, because some people be saying they is, but they not. Supposed to be tapped in. And all this person did was cause a whole bunch of problems. So maybe this person lied or this person tried to manipulate something. I don't know if a person went and got a reading from somebody who lied. But justice is happening. Yeah, Setmek is mad. Because Setmek is the, the protector of the throne. And Ramses is out here too. Oh yeah. It's a battle going on. Protecting of the throne. I knew it. Okay. What's this king of this energy? <sighs> Somebody is intoxicated by someone is what I just heard. Intoxicating. This devil energy, that's what someone feels towards someone that they want to com come back together with. But I feel like somebody's stuck in their head because there's so many things that's going on. But this person's still waiting for something. So they need to get out of that. Yeah. 
their spirit team is saying they need to get out of that mentally. They need to stop thinking that way because it's, it's manifesting into something. Yeah, I see the moon. So somebody needs to be careful what they're doing because they're manifesting things with their thoughts. And somebody is upset. Somebody really wants to be with somebody. That's why they're obsessed about it. Coming back together, partying. And it could, it could be a new connection. Somebody wants to get to know somebody as a friend. Okay, and they're self, uh, obsessed about the thought of that. But the person they want to get together with is stuck in their mind because they got so much stuff going on. It could be both people got stuff going on, but one just wants to get away from it all. Because the death card is right there. That's transformation. So this king of this is like, I don't care about all the stuff I got going on. I don't want to kick it with you. I'm trying to, they're obsessed about it. But this other person is like, I got so much stuff going on. I don't want to be dealing with everything, basically. What's this death card? Yeah, see, I told y'all. Look at that. It's, it's a lot of things to do with family. Family conflict, haters, people that wish that they was in the same position as this person. Instead of taking their own route, they want you to do it the way they want you to do it. Nobody's got to do it the way you want it done. Clearly, whoever this person is that's doing what they're doing is successful. So you need to leave them alone because you don't know what power is behind them. Because there's a power behind them to allow them to be successful. Clearly. But look, all this planning, betrayal, trying to set people up actually spending money to try to cause maybe even a person to have a demise to be put down under because a death card can actually mean that with this five of scepters and the three of scales it's like somebody tried to set somebody up so that they would be put to put to death because they envy them that much and this person ain't even worried about them <laughs> at all like at all what's this king of wands Yeah, see? Oh my goodness. Two acceptors. So, since since they wanted them to be laying down, but then I'll just tell y'all that. Look at this, the four of swords. And then the ace of scepters is right next to it. They tried to kill the life or the um the life force out of this person, but this person rises again like the phoenix from the ashes. That's what this energy is. This person is healing. They already took all the betrayal, the three of swords. Now they got the truth right here. This person is about to rise from the ashes. They're determined. Now they're holding on to their scepter. Now they got the confidence, the desire to push forward. They made a decision. That's why we keep seeing the three of wands. Yeah, let's go. All right, so that's what I got for y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Till next time, talk to y'all later. Deuces.